गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दी फ्लोरल डायग्राम सिंबल्स और दी साइंस विच आर जनरली यूज टू डिस्क्राइब दी फ्लोरल डायग्राम देर आर अ डिफरेंट सिंबल्स सो लेट्स सी वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट वन इज द मदर एक्सिस मदर एक्सिस इज द main branch on which the flowers are present and this mother axis is either represented by the a circle or a filled circle which is generally present in the posterior side of the floral diagram then the next one is the bract a bract is generally present to the anterior side of the floral diagram and it is represented by this symbol the bract is the outermost part of the floral diagram inner to the bract the next circle is comprised of the calyx calyx is the outermost non essential floral wall which is composed of the sepals and these individual sepals are represented by the particular symbol or which is like this sometimes you may find a symbol like a full shape so this is a symbol for the sepal the next one is the corolla corolla is the second one non essential floral whorl which is composed of the petals and individual petals are represented in the floral diagram and the petals are represented by a circular a half or this semi circular shape like this sometimes it is the halo or this sometimes the shape is a filled directly or with the lines and generally this is only have the arc while the sepal has the pointed shape so for if there is a pointed shape then it is represented by the sepals and if it is a directly circular shape then it is a represents petals the next floral whorl is the androecium androecium is a essential floral whorl present inner to the corolla and it is represent by the stamen though it is represented by the stamen but in floral diagram androecium is represented only by the anthers and these anthers are shown by the this type of shape so when the anthers is the monothecus it is represented by a simple le this sign and when it is the dithecus then it is a represented by a this sign so this is the dithecus sometimes it may be shown by such type of symbol for the monothecus and the this is for dithecus when the pollen when the this pollen consisting anthers are extrudes then it is represented by the facing towards the outer side of the floral diagram and when it is the introse that means facing towards the inner side or the towards the gynoecium then is represented by this symbol means the direction is towards the inner side 
then the next and the innermost floral wall is the gynoecium gynoecium is represented by the carpel though it is represented by the carpel but in the floral formula only the transverse section of a ovary is a represent the gynoecium the transverse section of the ovary generally shows the ovary wall so this is the ovary wall and a placenta placenta is on which the ovaries are attached and the position of the ovule so depending upon a different type of the placentation this transfer section of the ovary differs so this is the ovary wall these are the ovules and this is the placenta so this is the exile placentation depending upon the different placentation in this ovary is uh, showing the two locules that is a bilocular syncarpus because it is a fuse when it is a single locular and the monocarpillary that means a single ovary then it is a simply represented by this so this is a showing a single ovule present in a single locule that is a unilocular monocarpillary and this type of a placentation is termed as the marginal placentation so depending upon the number of the carpel and depending upon its cohesion i did this transverse section of the ovary varies in the floral diagram so these are the typical symbols used for the floral diagram apart from this there is a one more symbol which is a represent only in a specific case that is a presence of nectar or a nectary gland um those flower which shows the presence of nectary gland within the flower is generally represented by a small dot or the small circle at the position where the nectary is a present whether it is at, near the bract or whether it is near the calyx or whether it is a uh, near the corolla like so these are the symbol for the nectary gland even either at the base of the anther likewise so depending upon the nectary position uh, nectary gland symbol has been represented in the floral diagram so these are the floral diagram symbols or the signs which are used while drawing the floral diagrams of the flowering plant